Oh yeah, today's video is for sure a special one. I haven't seen many videos on YouTube covering cheap cars with pop-up headlights, so I thought I would make one for you guys. Well, the official name for them is hidden headlamps, but they're commonly known as pop-up headlamps or hideaway headlights or whatever. It's a form of automotive lighting and an automotive styling feature, and to be quite honest, I like most pop-up headlights on cars. There's some exceptions, but every car on this list, they look good on. The first car to feature this unique styling, and I'm going to pronounce it completely wrong, but who cares, is the Alfa Romeo 8C2-9000A Pinafenera Berlinletta. I, <laughs> I don't even know, guys, but that's the first car that ever featured pop-up headlights. I'm not, I, I mean, that's what the Wikipedia said. Anyways, as we can see here, there are a shit ton of cars with hidden or pop-up headlights. You guys can see that I'm scrolling through all of them. There's a lot of them, but uh, on, like, this video, there's only, like, eight of them or so, but, but today, I'm just covering the ones that are the less expensive and more likely able to buy, except for some on the list. Some are kind of rare, but anyways, I had to put them on here because they're kind of cool. With all that said, let's begin this video. The first car on this list is the Toyota Celica. For sure, this is one of the cheaper cars on this list where pop-up headlights are guaranteed on some generations. I'll get more into that. I'm not talking about the most recent Celica, oh no, but rather the better one, which is the 4th or 5th gens, not the 6th gen. I, I a, the 6th gen is kind of kind of crap, I don't know. Maybe if I like actually drove one, I'd like it, but... Are these cars even fast? Fuck no. Maybe the GT is sorta quick, but for the rest, no. They are fun to drive paired up with a 5-speed manual. I'm talking about the 4th and 5th gens. I don't know about the 6th the gens. And most importantly, as far as this video is concerned, it has pop-up headlights. Then they got rid of them in the 6th gen. Next is the Mazda MX-5 Mark 1. Now hold on, I can understand why people don't like these cars. I mean, for Christ's sake, Car Throttle dedicated a whole page on why not to buy these things. But to be quite honest, and I said the word but a lot, but I just said it again. I can move past the slowness, the impracticality, and just the plain old humiliation that people get with driving these cars. Unfortunately, they are rust buckets though, so that is a big factor in why people wouldn't buy this. I can, you know, slowness and practicality humiliation, I can take that all, but rust buckets, that's, I don't know, that's an L. Anyways, they are super cheap and they got pop-up headlights. I'm sorry, but look at the face of this thing. It can't stop smiling. It's just, next on this list is definitely a good one, that being the Porsche 924. Lasting more than 10 years, this car had definitely made a decent impact in automotive history. Well, actually, I don't know if that's true or not, but that sounds like I know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> it was the first Porsche to be offered with a fully automatic transmission. How do you like dumb apples? Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> like the rest of the cars on this list, this car is quite slow, packing only around 125 brake horsepower, but they are quite cheap, though, costing around $1,500, so, I mean... Next is the Toyota MR2 2nd Gen. Now, the 2nd Gen of the MR2 runs from 1984 until 2007. That is one long-ass generation for one car. It was in 2000 when they no longer used the pop-up headlights. So, 2000 and up, you get no pop-up headlights. Instead, it kind of looks like this, which is... Eh. So from 84 until 99 is when the second gen used pop-up headlights, and of course the first gen used them, but those are more expensive and kind of more rare to find. The MR2 is a little two-cylinder in it, making it not the fastest thing out there, but fortunately it does have a five-speed manual. Next on this list is one of my favorites because it's just so unique. This car is the Volvo 480. What the fuck is this thing? It's so different. Alright, so this car lasted from 1986 until 1995. Kind of short-lived, and then after that, they never made it again. Get this, it's the first front-wheel drive car made by Volvo. That's kind of an L, to be quite honest, because usually most Volvos are all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive, but, I mean, this is the first one that's front-wheel drive. Who cares? How many Volvos have pop-up headlights? Literally none but this one, because they never did it, except for this one. There's not too many specs on this car, but they're really cheap, they have a manual, and they freaking pop up headlights. Another car that I've never heard of is the Ford Probe. I never knew that Ford even made a car with pop up headlights. Am I the only one that thought that? For lasting almost 10 years, you would think I would know about this car, but I just don't. I, maybe I've seen it and I, maybe I've confused it with an MX-5, but I'll get more down to that later. Oh, well here it is. Not MX-5, but MX-6. Because it's related to the MX-6 and the Mazda 626. So I probably saw this one time or another, but I just thought it was one of those. So if you thought it looked familiar, there you go. 
I'm curious to see the specs on this car. So, it has a 5-speed manual, front-wheel drive, the GT has a V6 that produces 164 horsepower and 160 pound-feet of torque. There's also this other engine that is complete garbage, so I'm not going to even talk about it. Car Throttle said that the Ford Probe is very unreliable, so that's why I'd maybe not see these things on the road, but that's Car Throttle. Can you trust them? I don't know, but Ford Probe. <laughs> <coughs> oh shit yes there's the supra and there's the nsx and there's the i'm gonna have bladed angels say the name for me Eto six -er. yes the ae86 and a bunch of more cars that i didn't mention oh and also how could i forget this one the plymouth superbird oh my god dude that the wing on that thing is amazing i just remember from what was it from cars it was Dino. uh what was his name oh, shit i forgot Oh, it's one of the coolest cars ever, man. Shit. All right. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Peace.